So we're following a recent study that's shedding more light on the importance of feeding children smooth peanut butter at a younger age, this to help reduce the risk of them developing a peanut allergy. This is research led by the National Institutes of Health's National Institute of Allergy, and they found that child, children exposed to peanut products by six months of age had a 75% reduced risk of having a peanut allergy by the age of five. So joining us to talk more about that, Dr. Gigi Chala here, Chief of General Pediatrics Children's. Hey, thanks so much for being here. Great to be back. Yeah. Okay, so that video that we keep showing there, it's, uh, you know, the breast milk right. <laughs> bottle there. We're talking about six months. How are you exposing these kids to peanuts at six months? Yeah, I mean, it, it seems a little bit weird, right, to yeah. be able to do this and that it's, but it's just so important to really strongly consider it. The way that I generally uh, make as a recommendation to do this is just take a little, like a just a, a smear of, of smooth peanut butter on your finger, okay, mm -hmm. and you can have your infant just suck on your finger, oh. um, and you could so you could do it that way. Other people like to use the peanut powder. Um, and you could just use a little bit of peanut powder, just a, a pinch or so, and put it into a bottle. Well, well it, okay. <laughs> that, it seems a little, <laughs> seems for some crazy, people yeah. who don't know, it seems a little scary, yeah. actually, yeah. because yeah. you're talking about a six-month-old baby. Yes. What signs should you be looking for to see, okay, have they already developed that allergy? Well, or, um, or, or have they? Can they develop them that early? Right. So there are kids who are a little bit more at risk, mm. and in any of this, you should be consulting your pediatrician right. Right, right. for direct guidance on how to do this. But for some kids who have eczema, which is a sensitive skin mm -hmm. irritation, um, for some kids who have a family history of other people in the family with an anaphylactic response right. to, to foods, including peanut, this should be done with a bit more caution. Sure. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you, you absolutely can think about introducing peanut product, smooth, not chunky peanut butter or chopped up peanuts or anything like that, smooth peanut butter this, at the same time that you're doing baby foods. Wow. Mm. So if you think about it kind of in the same way, you're just incorporating mm -hmm. that yeah. into the normal pattern that you would do. You mentioned it before, six months, you could do start this as, as early as six months? Yes, you really should even aim a little bit earlier. Okay. So four to six months in that same window that you're doing some baby foods, mm -hmm. just incorporate the smooth peanut butter or a little bit of peanut powder, peanut puree, something like that into the infant's diet. How often? Couple times a week. Couple times, couple times a week, mm -hmm. a week really. Mm -hmm. yep. But this doesn't mean that that's foolproof to prevent it these is, peanut allergies down the road. It is not foolproof. Um, but, you know, when we're talking about a 75% reduction, right. yeah. that is a huge deal. And for we have 2% of our, of our population of, you know, adults and kids with peanut allergy, and it is life altering. That is a life altering mm -hmm. path to be on. So this introduction, you know, just think about it a little bit earlier can really have a, a dire change in outcomes well, for the positive. Not only that, I'm thinking about kids at school. I mean, now you mm -hmm. get the notifications, hey, if you're bringing a snack to school, make sure the schools, that make sure they don't have peanut allergies because that's something that a lot of kids are having to deal with on a daily basis. So. Exactly. Right. Mm -hmm. Dr. Gigi, as always, we appreciate it. Thank you. Mm -hmm.